Welcome back to Full On Football with, of course, our guest tonight, um, Andy Thorpe from Western Strikers and Neil Young from Cumberland. Uh, Neil, this is, of course, says, this is your business, Premier League. Um, yeah. As you said in the last segment, you guys have been flying along quite nicely. And I'll tell you what, old MacDonald had a farm, but he's got two MacDonald brothers at your club yeah. that's yeah. doing really well. The two Maccas, yeah, they are yeah. doing really well. Um, Brenton MacDonald at the moment is, is on fire. You know, he's, he's got his appetite back for the game. Um, he's enjoying every moment of it, um, and he's scoring goals. I mean, what, what more could you want? And Robbie McDonald as well. Um, we actually got him from White City. He was at White City last year. We've got him down with us again, scoring goals. Um, both playing up front together, uh, which is good. They must be on the same wavelength, being brothers and that. But uh, you know, at, at the moment we're doing okay. You know, it's it's been a it's been a big um, you know culture shock for me, as you know as well as the players as well, you know, understanding the way I'm, I want to play and bringing my style of coaching and that, but you know, they've adapted, uh, some of the young lads that have come through have been excellent. Um, but the trouble that I'm having is um, keeping a squad of 16 players together, fit, you know, and because obviously when you're leaving players out... Um, they don't get the match fitness. Well, it's, it's not that as well, you know, because they, they, I mean, to be fair, you know, I've, I've had it, you know, I've had players that I've left out of the team, haven't been on the bench, you know, walk away. Mm. You know, I, but to be fair, the lads that I've got now, you know, uh, they're showing character and if I don't play them, they'll, you know, try even harder in the reserves to try and try and training, you know, they don't walk away, they don't get the ump. And that, you know, that, that's the sort of characters I want around the club. Um, and to be fair, you know, once, once they get their chance, you know, I've told them, take it. You know, and keep keep your players out out of the team. Mm. Now, of um, course, you got your, your captain there, Danny Greystone, coming from Panthers. He's been playing very well for yeah, me. Yeah, me and Danny have been uh, uh, playing at the back together, uh, playing centre half. Um, good with playing with Danny, because you know, his experience, you know, and he's been here a while as well, so he knows he knows about the Australian game, the South Australian game. So, you know, it's good to have his experience on board. What what we've having a few young lads, you know. Yeah, definitely. Okay, well, let's have a look at the results for the Premier League um, for last week, and let's see what happened there. We've had some uh, and some more interesting matches here and some more interesting results. Where well, we had Adelaide Cobras going down to uh, Adelaide Olympic four uh, one with Sakalas. Sakalas has been scoring uh, over the last four or five weeks there, so um, a, a good pick up for Cobras coming back into the squad after so many months and uh, Adelaide Olympic with Velasquez and DeJanto, Orlando and uh, Gillespie scoring each there. Then of course we had Panthers up against Sassy and unfortunately Sassy uh, um, didn't come out, uh, came out winners on top there with 1-0. Uh, Joe Costa scoring the goal there. Um, Pirates won Croydon Kings 4 with Mateo scoring for Pirates and uh, Kosnick who came from Modbury from last year scoring a double. Pro Lozidis uh, scoring and Andrew Harus. Now Andrew Harus is a young lad that's come up from the 19s and 23s so good stuff there Andrew. And um, White City 4, Adelaide Comets nil uh, with Jovanovic scoring a double, uh, Djakovic and Buko and of course uh, your match nil which was the first little hiccup to your uh, season, your 2009 season where you went down to Salisbury so Top against bottom, and it does happen. Yep, and it did. Uh, <laughs> Garifa and Agar scoring for Salisbury. So tell us what did happen. No, you know, fair play to Salisbury. You know, on, on a day that they've done a job on us. You know, they, they come to our place. They they played a, a, a back four um, with a sweeper. Um, they played five midfield and one up front. You know, they camped in. They soaked up a you know a lot of pressure. Um, you know, you know, they caught us caught us twice on the break. You know, fair play to them, you know, you know they, they, they done well, they, they, they played really well. Um, but, you know, our discipline went a bit, you know, we, we were chasing, trying to chase the game. And the longer the game went on where, you know, we weren't scoring, where we haven't had that problem before. Mm. Uh, you can see the frustrating, frustration, frustration yeah, coming out in yeah. all the lads and, you know, then players were trying to take players on. And we, we just lost our shape and discipline a little bit. Um, which again, learning process for me and the lads, and you know, hopefully it won't happen again. So what did you say to them at half time? Because what was it at half time? Half time it was nil nil, you know, oh, and we, right. we was we was okay, you know, we missed a couple of chances. Again, the conditions windy, you know, blustery, you know, but yeah, same for both teams. And um, I just said, Joe, keep going, keep playing, keep playing. It will come. Mm. Well, it never. Mm. <laughs> and uh, they scored one goal, and then we like I say we started chasing the game, and the players got pulled out of position. They broke on us and scored again, you know, mm. in the game. Right, well, that, unfortunately, as you said, that was your first little um, uh, blunder, or not blunder, but 
Um, I guess your first little hiccup in, in your season because you have been travelling quite nicely. Now, I would like to look at the ladder, but unfortunately, um, I have noticed that I've made quite an error on the ladder, and so we can't see the ladder. We're going to have to go straight through to the fixtures. But with that, that dropped you out of top spot, Drops didn't out it? Top spot, yeah. yeah so uh, White, White, City. White City have gone top mm. now. So, um, uh, and I think it's uh, Olympic coming up in third. Yeah, and um, it's very tight in the middle there. I mean, it, it, one win. Yeah means quite a, a big difference uh, to There's, to there's no easy games, you know, there's no easy games in the Super League, there's no easy games in this, you know, you play so, you know, you, you, you play a limited number of games, you know, you play, what, 18 league games, yeah, you know, like every single game, it? every single game is important. Yeah, it's crucial. You know, whereas in England, other, you know, you, you're playing like 46 games. Yeah, yeah. well, I've played, I think, 48 games. So, I three remember, seasons. Yeah. One season I played like 52 games, I think it was, including well, no cup games. No wonder you racked so, up over well, 400. That's what I mean, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, oh, I mean, but you were there for 14 years. I mean, you know, you've got to give it a go. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So every game you play here, it's a must win. Yeah. It's a must yeah. win. Yeah. And, you know, you, you can't go out and once you get in that losing, that losing run, you've got to get out of it, you know. Mm. I know, and it. that is hard to do. I mean, yeah. you know, it's all, you it's all, you know, lovely and rosy yeah. when, two, you, when two, you're winning. You, know, you lose two. I mean, look at, uh, who is it? I know, it's the Galaxy. Yeah, yeah. No, you would have two said you'd have said it a couple of weeks ago. They've done that. They win two games, boom, they shut the table. Yeah. You know, they win a couple more games. What they? Yeah, they got more. Well, they had four yeah. points off of uh, third place. Yeah, exactly. That's right. No, exactly. Same. Well, let's have a look at what you've got coming up in round eight, yeah. uh, Neil. And that's uh, again more interesting matches. We've got Pirates are up against uh, Adelaide Comets um, at Pirate Park. Salisbury take on Panthers. Now that. that win over you, I <laughs> reckon they would have been partying till all hours of the morning with that big win over you. And I would guess that they would be taking their chances on Panthers as well. But Panthers also not in a very good position because they need to get points. Uh, so that, that's basically the bottom of the table, those two teams. Um, we've got Croydon up against an Olympic at Polonia Park. That's a 7pm match, so that will be a good match there. Sassy are taking on Adelaide Cobras at Weagle Oval. So Cobras is the host club, even though it's Sassy's home, you know, home fixture. But because uh, Santos uh, Oval is not available, that's why they're there. And this is the match that I'm going to be absolutely running to watch. Huh. White City Woodville up against uh, Cumberland United. Yeah, big I mean, big match, top of the table. Yeah, top of the table, Cash. <laughs> um, you know they're a good team. Um, I see them play last year uh, um, at up at Campbelltown, mm. uh, one of the last games of the season. They're a good team. You, you know they've got a great coach there, and um, you know hopefully, <laughs> I'm not saying hopefully. I mean, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure you know I'm conf quite confident we can go there and give them a game. Mm. Um, the style that we play uh, and the style that they play, I think, you know, I'm hoping it will suit us more. Um, but I can't give away too many secrets. No, well, I know you yeah. can't. I know, yeah, know you can't. But, but, but like I say, no game's you're easy. You're going to keep to the no game, game plan, don't you? It proved it. No game's easy. Last week we mm. went out there, you mm. know, uh, wrong attitude maybe. I don't know. Mm. But. Well, we look forward to that one and definitely I'll be there watching that one. I might <laughs> even sneak in my camera. You never oh, know. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Don't you dare, he says. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll, as I said, it's going to be a great, great round of matches for the Premier League and uh, we look forward to that one, definitely that one. Um, look, we're going to take another short break. When we come back, we're going to be talking all things State League. So stick with us because you're watching Full On Football. Here we go.